Bless the Lord. I need some on the mic. Bless the Lord this morning. Hallelujah. I don't know about you, man. I just, I truly thank God for God being God. Because I tell you, intercessory prayer was just, oh my God. Oh my God. And I tell you, I just, I just thank God just for being the God that he is. I thank God for just being the, the, the awesomeness of who he is. I, I just, I, I thank God. I don't, I don't know about you, even just me, just even with my situation, I still thank God for it. I thank God for even what I'm dealing with. I thank God for what I'm going through. I thank God. Mm. I, I understand even in this time when David said that I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. David is letting you know that I'm going to bless God whether if I'm on the mountaintop or, or in the valley low. I'm going to bless God because the very situation of who God is, the very situation that I might be facing, dealing with, going through, the very situation... I thank God. Why? Because through him I have victory. Through him I have strength. Through him all things are still made possible. Oh, shot. So I thank God. I thank God. I thank God. I thank God. I don't know about you because even when I thought that I should have won, when it looked like I might have lost, but I thank God that through him I still won. Oh, shot. So I thank God this morning. I don't, I don't know about you because I see that my outcome is already in my favor. Oh, shot. So I thank God this morning. I don't know about you. I don't know about you. But the God that I serve, he's faithful and just. Yes. <laughs> the God that I serve, he is able. Oh, shot. Woo, I just thank God this morning because just of who he is. I thank God before, because of what he's even doing in my life. Oh, shot. I thank God this morning. Who glory. Every now and then, it's like we just begin to just look at it and just tell God, I thank you for my situation. <laughs> I thank God. I thank you for my situation. <clears throat> You're like, you know, brother, I'm going through this. Like, I don't see how can I thank. I thank God for my situation because. Yes. How else will God get the glory in the earth? Oh, shot. It takes my situation so that he can be magnified. Oh, shot. My God today. Woo. I say, God, I thank you for setting me up to be blessed. Yes, Hallelujah. Glory to God. Woo. God, I thank you this morning. Father, we bless your name, God. We give you glory. We give you honor. Thank you right now, God, because you are awesome in everything that you do. Father, we thank you, Lord God. We lift you up this morning, oh God. You continue to have your way. You continue to flow throughout this place, oh God. Father, because you know we're nothing without you. But God, through you, all things are made possible. And so, Father, we thank you right now, God, in the name of Jesus. Father, we lift you up, oh God. We exalt your name, oh God. In the name of Jesus, Father, you continue to have your way. Oh, God. So, God, I pray, oh God, even as we move throughout this day, oh God. God, that you give us the wisdom, oh God, to walk in the very thing that you have laid before us, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Do God have your way. Yes. Father, we come against all doubt. God, we come against the spirit of manipulation. Yes. God, we come against the spirit of religion. Yes, yeah. God, but it's about our relationship with you. It's about our oneness with you, oh God. Father, we tell you, thank you right now, God. We lift you up, God, because we know that you're able to do abundantly above all that we may ask or think. So, Father, we ask that you have your way in this place on today, oh God. God, I thank you for just being in here, oh God. Because I know I brought you with me. Hush up. Hallelujah. And, Father, you said in your word that we're two or three got together in your name, oh God. Touching and agreeing, God, you said you'd be in the midst. So, Father, we thank you. Hush up. We thank you. Father, we praise you now, God. We give you glory and honor. Father, you continue to have your way. Father, we say this prayer, God, Son, Jesus' name, amen. Amen and amen. 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 Yes. yes to your will, Lord. Yes. 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 Yes to your way, oh God. Yes. 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 Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Just something about a yes. I remember back in uh, back in my uh, 
Pentecostal days, when I used to, uh, with uh, in Church of God in Christ, I remember <laughs> listening to, um, at that time, Pastor McCormick. There's just something about just saying yes. It was like it's that anthem because that's the only organization where I heard it that way. And when you uh, when you just begin to say yes, Lord, Hosha, when you just begin to say yes, Lord, with uh, no strings attached, it's like yes, Lord, not not because of uh, a, a familiarity, but God, I say yes. I I, I say yes. I, I'm not gonna dive into it. Come on, Mama. <laughs> but I say yes. 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 I'll say yes. Okay. Yes. 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 Hallelujah. We thank God for a yes. <clears throat> We thank God for who he is, what he is in our lives, and we honor him on this day. God, we thank you. We love you. We honor you, God. We thank you just for your grace. We thank you, God, for your mercy. We thank you, God, for your strength. We thank you, God, for your kindness. Thank you. We thank you, God, for your love, God. We thank you, God, for your peace. Thank we thank you. you, God, for your joy. We thank you, God, for your understanding. God, yes. we thank you, God, for your long suffering. God, we ah. thank you, God, just because you are God. Yes. Above you, Lord, there is no there other. There is no other. Thank you, Father. And so, God, even as we come today, Lord, we're asking, God, that you would have your way now in the name have of Jesus. Have your way, Father. God, that you would forgive us of our sins, Lord. Yes. That you would move, God, by your power and your might now in the name of Jesus. Yes. That you would meet your sons and your daughters here where they are. God, that you would just pour out your spirit, pour God, out, pour God. out your oil, God, that it would saturate, Lord, now every area of our lives, God, yes, and Lord. every crevice of the atmosphere yes, that we're Lord. in, now in the name of Jesus, name of God, Jesus. that you be glorified, be glorified God, God, that you God. be lifted on high, God, yes. Lord, that your will will be done in the yes, name of God. Jesus, in the name of God, Jesus. we will say yes, Yes, Lord. God, our hearts yield, our spirits yield, God, Yes, Lord. Push our lives out, Lord. are yielded unto you, Lord. Yes. So God, we honor you on this day. Yes. We ask God that you would be with the word, God, that you would be with everything that is said, mm. everything that is sung, God, Come everything on. that is spoken, God, Thank everything you. that is read on this Thank day, you. God. Lord, that you would be with your sons and your daughters, yes. God, that they will be able to hear uh -huh. your voice, God, that they will see you and hear you, God, and not me at all. God, you be glorified in everything. Yes. We give you glory, God. We give you honor, God. We give you praise, God. Your will be done now, God, in the name of Jesus. In the name Remove of all Jesus. distractions, God. Yes. And Lord, we make room for you. Yes, God. we do. Oh, shout out, boom. Thank you, Jesus. I make room for you, Lord. Yes. You are so worthy. And so, God, we make room for you, God, to come and to just sit and rest. To come and just sit and to dwell. Mm. To come and to just sit, God, and inhabit the praises of your people. Yes. God, to sit and to sup. God, we make room. In Jesus' name. Jesus' name. Amen. 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 We thank God for this morning. Thank you. Because he's been so good. He is so worthy. Yeah. I got a little post-nasal drip going on with all this allergy and stuff in the air. So y'all, please forgive me. You all right. Y'all can hear me, right? Y'all can hear me. He loud and clear. Y'all hear me on YouTube, too. So I don't need that. Woo -woo. So you say I do need it. Oh, yes. I don't need that. I'm good. So this morning, this morning, this morning, I promise you I will not be before you long at all. Just wanted to encourage your hearts. And <clears throat> it started out really this week. We were, um, there was a situation that happened and Aaliyah gave me permission to, to utilize it in Wife's Lounge earlier this week. So I'm, I still have permission. Yeah, okay. <laughs> so there was a situation that took place this weekend. It just reminded me of what the title of the message is on today. And when God says that he does a thing and he does a thing and he does all things well, well, it just reminds me of no matter what is taking place inside of your life, inside of any situation, that God is good. And so he mentioned um, there was a situation where... Um, she likes to play online games. I don't have a problem with online games at all, right? Online games are 
I guess pretty cool. I don't really play them, so I guess they're good. I guess they're cool. They find different people, and she has this one game where um, they can actually play with people all over the world, right? And they get to interact and learn about different customs and cultures and what they do and all that great stuff, right? Really cool. She is um, amazing at finding different resources and opportunities to educate herself. And so that is one thing that I love about what she does and how she does things. And so in this particular situation, um, one online conversation with the game went to Snapchat, which is sometimes okay, not too much of a big deal. But when the conversation continued to persist and continued to pursue and certain things were revealed, it should have ended at that point. Mm -hmm. Because in no way, shape, form, or fashion should an adult be interacting with a child. Mm -hmm. And so that conversation she was going to keep on Snapchat just because she understands kind of all the different factors and different things, how to maintain online internet security. Mm -hmm. Well, a friend of hers was also on Snapchat, was playing the same game, had in been introduced to the same guy, and she took the conversation offline to a number. And so she then proceeded to do a group text message revealing the phone number of not only herself, but also of Aaliyah. And so even though Aaliyah was upset and she was like, well, why did you add my number? You know, the girl never removed the number, all that great stuff. So now we have a situation where security is breached. Mm -hmm. And we know immediately where there is now a situation where there is an adult male. <clears throat> we don't know how old. They have expressed their particular age. And we know that the internet streets is crazy, right? We got human trafficking. We got sex trafficking. We got pornography. We got all kind of stuff going on, right? And, you know, we ain't been saved all our lives. Crazy. So, <laughs> when the conversation came about when uh, Eric and Aaliyah were out for their coffee ride earlier this week, he, he was so livid and so upset. And I don't think that at that moment or that time, Aaliyah really understood what was taking place. And so, as we started to have the conversation and he came home and we talked about it and I asked all these questions and did all these things, you know, the first thing that I thought about was... Because there, there was a moment where I could have overreacted. And then there was a moment where I said, well, God, let's get all the information that we can get. So in that moment, he gave me the wisdom to be able to do that. And then now let's look at the actual situation and look at what's going on. And so, you know, you, I ain't been saved all my life, y'all. And low key, I could have been a private investigator. <laughs> so... <laughs> So as we were getting all the information and uh, God gave me the wisdom, okay, well, you have his number and you know what you can access with the, uh, with the phone number. So we went and did all the necessary things, contacted the National um, Missing for Children Exploitation to report it, contacted the FBI, contacted the local sheriff's department, did our due diligence to report the information so that um, we can get another predator, an online predator off the streets and off the internet streets. And so... I was grateful in that moment to say, God, even though the enemy meant this for evil, you turned, you made it for good. Mm -hmm. And so the message for today and how I just really want to encourage you is I just want you to always remember that God made it for good. Hmm. Come on. God made it for good. And Come so on. only a few scriptures, but I just want you to remember that God made it for good. So whatever... Think, think about think about your worst situation, right, before we dive into the scriptures. I want you to think about that worst situation that you was just like, man, that was the worst thing that could have ever happened. Mm. Whether it was this week, whether it was sometime early in your life, I want you to think about whatever that situation was. <clears throat> Y'all got that situation? When you, when you got that situation, say, got it. Got it. Got it. And I want you to tell yourself, God made it for good. God made, made it, it for, for good. good. And I want you to really sit with that. God made it for good because it could have been another way. Yes. Right? It could have been where the, the online predator was able to get the information and God set it up just in a way to where she was fully protected because the number that she has, our information isn't even attached to that number. Because it hasn't been, I guess, uh -huh. linked over to whatever the, 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 the uh -huh. new system or whatever thing is. So now she's fully protected where we thought that there was a breach in security. God made it for good. Come on now. Where we thought that it was going to harm us in a certain kind of way, and we thought that we were going to have to set up bail money, God made it for good. Uh -huh. Now then, we have a situation.
situation where now if you just look over your life, uh -huh. right? And you look over what you thought was meant for evil. Uh -huh. What you thought was set up to to trap you. What was set to, to, to hold you down. What uh -huh. was set to set you back. What Come was on. set to set you up for dead. Come on. What was set for all the things that would have kept you where you are. Uh -huh. And not pushed you or, or propelled you to the purpose of where God has you. God made it for good. Yes, he did. Yes, he now, did. in that moment, you would have thought, God, I'm in the pits. I'm in this lowliest place. But in that moment, because you believe just a little bit and you kept pushing just a little bit. Uh-huh. God was able to show you that I made it for good. Yeah. He always makes it for good. He just got to, you just got to see that it's, it's really for good. your good. Come on now. You got to see it. Come on now. So Genesis 50 and 2. Uh-huh. We're going to start there. No. Fin Genesis 50 and 20. 50 and 20. And King James Version says, but as for you, you thought evil against me, but God meant it unto good to bring to pass as it is this day to save much people alive. So here what I want us to remember. So this is where we're going through the process and Joseph, Joseph is he's dying here in Egypt. And in this particular process, I don't know if you remember the story of Joseph when he was, you know, the, of all of his brothers, they kind of sold him off because they was jealous, all that great stuff. And, uh -huh. and so then he ended up in the palace and was able to then help his family and do all the things that they didn't think he was going to be able to do uh -huh. because they were trying to sell him off because they were jealous of him. Right. They really wanted him dead. But then they thought about it. It was like, no, does just sell him. Uh -huh. Right. So. All that, and it started when he was 17. So then God blessed Joseph, and then Joseph grew up, and he was, you know, with the Potiphar in the Potiphar's house. And then so we know that he was able to, um, they were sent to the land of Canaan, to Egypt to buy food, and then they saw Joseph there. So all the things that they thought that were set up for his demise, now they're back at the place to where Joseph is still now in a place or a position to serve them. Uh -huh. Right? So, and, and just like the historical narrative, what is important here is that it teaches us two things. Number one, God keeps his word. Yeah. No matter how impossible it, it seems. Look. Come on now. So whatever the impossible looks like for you right now in this moment, God keeps his word. Yeah. So if God said it or, it or if there was an inkling of, okay, I don't know how I'm going to get out of this. I don't know how this is even going to turn around for my good. Well, Just remember, God made it good. good. Yes, he did. God meant it for good. God yeah. made it for good. And yeah. so all things that whatever God makes, he makes for good. Right. Yeah. And so if he made it for good, then guess what? It's going to turn out for good. Yeah. yeah. No matter what it looks like. No matter what the situation is, he's going to turn it out for good. Yeah. So although he had to go through all that he went through, he was still set up in a position yeah. where his dream was still true. true. Come on now. Come on. Come so on. So I want you to remember that although he had to take the journey, yeah. and had he not taken the journey, uh -huh. maybe he wouldn't have been able to trust God as much as he was able to trust Come God. Come on. Maybe he wasn't able to to understand the things that were putting that God was putting in his place uh -huh. the way that he was. Maybe had he not taken the journey, he wouldn't have never known what it was like to be lied on. Come on. Maybe had he not taken that journey, he would have never known what it was like to to um to not be heard or not be seen or or for people not to believe him. Yeah, come on. But because he went through that journey, journey there were uh -huh. some things that he learned along the way. Well. And God still made it for good. Yeah. And God still brought everything to pass. Yeah. Where he was still being the one that was serving the brothers. Ah, come on now. The second point that's important here is that Joseph was a personal example uh -huh. because he trusted God. And God was able to understand, he was able to understand the big picture and the big plan. Mm. And then he was still able to forgive his brothers. Yeah. So think about this, y'all. Let's, right? let's think about it. <laughs> you got, because I know sometimes, and we're going to bring it into like today's time, right? So he's got his brothers. These are the people that he grew up with, that he slept with, that he ate with, that he worked with. And like he, like he like knows these people. Yeah. Same parent, like he knows these people. And he going out, la, 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 thinking that, hey, it's all, you know, it's, it's, all it's, it's big fun. Right. And then they go and they put him in the pit. Mm. Right? 
So they have these plans to plot up against him. Now think about the betrayal. Come on. Think about what he was thinking. You're supposed to be my brother. Ah, you're supposed to have my back. You're Come supposed on. to protect me. We're supposed to be in this for good. Like, right. we're supposed to have each other's back. We're yeah. supposed to watch out for each other. Now, Come how on. dare you leave me for dead? Come on now. How dare you? Paint the picture. And then when they go to see him when he was at the Potiphar's house, it's like, okay, all right, well, like, you were supposed to be dead. Not realizing, oh, and I don't even know if they even realize that the dream has still come true. <laughs> that on. the dream has still come to pass. Uh huh. When they went to the Potiphar's house. So in today's situation where you are walking throughout life, going throughout life, going throughout your journey, you got your family, you got your friends, you got your people, you got your people that you know. We at least we used to say ride or die. Mm. Now I say we ride and live because I don't want to ride and die with nobody. <laughs> but we ride and living, right? <laughs> so we ride and living together. And now it's just like, okay, this person said something or this person was offended. Now this person is acting funny. This person is doing this. This person is that. This person lied on me. All I'm doing, God, is trying to do what you asked for me to do. And God, I am really trying to just move in the flow and the things that you have for my life. And I'm trying to fulfill the purpose, God. Ah. And I don't understand that maybe I shouldn't have exposed this or shared this because I'm so excited about what you're doing in my, my life, life and what the things that you are doing just in my family's yeah. life. Mm -hmm. And so because of that, I'm sharing the goodness of what you've done. And people are getting jealous. They hating, Slim. I'm sharing the goodness of what you're doing, God, and people are treating me kind of different. Ah. I'm doing, God, all the yeah. things that you're saying, and God, they, things are moving around, and think, but God, things are like, it ain't looking like it used to look. Mm. I don't feel the same way, God, around those people that I used to. Uh huh. They don't treat me the same. Yeah. Or. Maybe your situation is a little different. Mm. Whatever the situation is, it's, God, I'm trusting you in this situation. Yeah. And I don't understand all the outside interference. Mm. I don't even understand all the inside oh, yeah. interference. Come on. Because these are the people that are in my inner circle. Yeah. These are the people that, that, that know me like nobody else knows me. Uh-huh. And God is saying, I meant it for good. Mm. Come on. I meant it for good. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. So whatever that thing is, I meant it for good. Uh-huh. We're going to go to Romans 8 and 28. Come on. Uh -huh. That all things work together for good to them that love God, to them who are the called according to his purpose. Mm -hmm. So the one thing that's significant here is in Genesis, it was showing how what was done for evil, God meant it for good. Uh huh. Here in Romans... In the New Testament, mm -hmm. it's and we know. Uh -huh. So you have to know that you know that you know. So in Genesis, he was establishing uh -huh. that all things oh. that were for so for the things that were of evil, uh -huh. he meant them for good. Good. Come on. Let me go back there because I don't want nobody to say that I didn't say, I didn't break this down to say I need you to see the revelation here because God just dropped this revelation to me. Come on. And I want to make sure that you get it because in Genesis it says. But as for you, you thought evil against me, but uh, God meant it for good. And so right now, this is where Joseph is saying that you, 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 you thought evil against me, but God meant it for good. Uh huh. So he's establishing here that although the evil was present, God meant it's it for good. good. Uh -huh. So I understand that God meant it for good. What? Now in the New Testament in Romans, it says, and we know. Uh huh. So now this is a knowing, this is an assurity of, now I don't care what is taking place. Uh -huh. And although this thing has come up, this thing has come up, that thing has come up, what I know that I know that I know yeah, yeah. is that all things work together yeah. for the good of those who love the Lord. Uh -huh. Not just some things, but all, all things. things. 
<laughs> so think about your situation and I want you to start calling out some situations yeah. and if you're in the chat I want you to put some situations mm. inside of the chat box so all situations yeah. right yeah yeah that means my health uh-huh right I'm going through something with, with, with my fibroids uh -huh. and so I realize now that I'm going to have to go through the process of having a full hysterectomy I don't know what that's gonna feel like don't know what it's gonna look like but I said okay God I know that all things, all things. work together uh -huh. because I was already in the process of thinking that I wanted that because of how 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 difficult the monthly process is for me as a as a woman and how it has been all my life and so now I'm at a situation where it's a got to it, it has yes. to happen uh-huh and so am I nervous about going through the full surgery all things work good yeah so regardless of whether it's the health your health your finances your business your job your whatever your come children on. all things all work. things come on so what is your all things mm. all things mm -hmm. all things every situation come on ain't nobody said nothing every ain't nobody issue. put it in the chat uh -huh. all things mm -hmm. that means your health uh -huh. your mama your cousins your, come your on friends now. All things. All things. Your dating situation. All things. All your things. children. All things. Yes. Your finances. All, all things. things. Come on now. Your school and your education. All things. Yes. That means every area of your life. Mm. On your job. All, all things. things. When your supervisor is acting stupid. All things. All things. When you trying to find a job. All things. Your spouse. All when things. your spouse is acting stupid. Yes. All things. Hallelujah. All, all things. All things. When your mental health is all out of whack, all, all things, things. Come on, mama. there is nothing too small for God. Yes. And he didn't say some things. He said all, all things. things. Yes. All yes. things work together. All things. For good. Mm. To them. To them. That love God. Uh -huh. Do you love God on today? Yes. Yes. Do you love God on today? And then it says to them who are the call. Come on. The call means, okay, God has said that, okay, now he has, he has, you, you are saved because you profess, you proclaimed, you stepped into and received the gift of salvation that he's given you. Break it. So now he's saying now, now that you have done this, there are some that are called, there are some that are chosen, but he said to the called. So there are more of us called uh -huh, than, are than are chosen. Come on, mama. You better so say that. So if he's saying to the called, uh -huh. the called is going to say what establishes us as the, the called. called. Come on. The called means that I am believing uh -huh. the word. Uh -huh. The called says that I am applying Dying. your word. Come on. The called says that I am knowing uh -huh. the word. Come on. The call says that God, whatever the situation is, I have no doubt. Yeah, yeah. About what you said is true for my life. Come on now. And what is possible you for my life. You better say that. You better say that. That is the call. The call. Oh, shout out, boo. Come on, Jesus. My God. According to his purpose. Yes. So his purpose. Mm. Everything that he has for us. Every desire. Every kingdom. Thing that he has for us to love the mm -hmm, Lord, thy mm -hmm, God, with all thy heart, mm -hmm, to mm -hmm. honor him in all our ways. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. His purpose to love the people, mm. to serve the people. Yes, yes. But we can't do that if we aren't loyal to God first. Mm, come on now. Because our loyalty to God means that God, whatever takes place on this side of the Jordan, yeah. means that I'm still loyal to you. Yeah. So if I'm loyal to you, that means that when one of my friends or something takes place and I'm not going to waver uh -huh. because this thing didn't work out the way that it was supposed oh, to work see, out. I mean, that it means that because, God, I am the call, oh. I believe that whatever has taken this. place, God, is going to work well, out for my good. Yes. I might not see it in this moment. Yeah. But because I am the call, uh -huh. that means that I am believing Leave you for what your word says, that I am not going to doubt you. Come it on. means that I am expecting uh -huh. because it's the faith that is going to produce the miracles. Mm. Come on. So the more that I am loyal to him, the more that I am trusting him, the more that I am honoring him, the more that I am believing what he says that his word is, no matter what it looks no like. No matter what it looks like. I know it's going to work out for my good. Yes. I don't have to think about, well, will it work out for my good? No, I know. know it. 
And so the difference is, is when we just recite this scripture and says, and we know all things. Do you really know Do all you really things? know? Do you really know? Do you really know all things? Come on now. So when you go to take the GMAT and they tell you that you don't have, they don't have your stuff scheduled <laughs> and they don't have your name lined up, do you really, really know, know that it's going to work out for your good? Come on now. Yeshebo. When you go to set up for, you know, getting your house or doing whatever you necessary to do that, and the loan officer comes back and says, well, your credit score isn't high enough. Or they come back and they say, well, your credit score is high enough, but it's going to be this amount for you to go to closing. Do you really know? Do you really know? Come on now. When those life situations start hitting you in your Ooh, face. Come on. And they start to tell you that, oh, you have this thing going on inside of your life and you never, ever knew about this situation before. And all of a sudden it's hitting you at a point in your life where you never, you thought you were on the prime of your life. Come on. Do you really know? Do you really know? Got to mind to know. Come on now. Do you really know? Yes. Yes. And so this is a knowing that all things. Knowing. No. Work together. So I don't care what the enemy's traps are. I don't care what the enemy says, what the snares are, what the trials of life yeah. are, what we even put ourselves into. Yeah. The situations we put ourselves into. Because there are some times where it ain't got nothing to do with the enemy. Is we put ourselves there. Come on. And even though I'm putting myself here, God, I know no. that I know that I know. It's still that you're going to give me a way of escape because yep. you make all things work together uh -huh. for my good yes. because I am the call. Come on. I am believing that thing. I am knowing that thing. It's an assurity for me. Yeah. I'm not going to doubt. Mm. I'm not going to waver. Waver? Come on now. And I'm not going to allow the outside interference or noise or what I see to predict or to change the way Say that, that I see it. Say that. Or to change mm. the way that I know it. Come on now. Joseph knew that God was with him. He knew it. He didn't understand all the things, but he knew that God was with him. And so in this journey and throughout this week, I just want to remind you to know that God made it for good. Mm. And not just for good, but for your good. Yes. God made it for your, your good. good. Whatever it is you're going through, God made it for your, your good. good. Whatever it is, whatever the situation, God made it for, for your, your good. good. For your good. For your good. It was a good thing that it was exposed when it was exposed with this, the online situation. Uh -huh. It was a good, good thing. thing. Yes, it was. Amen. God Amen. made it for good, whatever yes, that did. situation. Is. And then it also postures us in gratefulness uh -huh. and gratitude. Yeah. So whenever you are seeing that situation, even with the forest fires this week, y'all, coming on. from Canada, <clears throat> I ain't never seen nothing like that in all my life. <clears throat> <clears throat> and all I kept thinking about was God if we are getting the smoke because I remember being in Puerto Rico and in the month of March like they say that it gets a little hazy out on the waters and sometimes like the debris and stuff comes in on the land but it comes when the, um, in Africa during the the, the safari is this not a safari the desert yeah the desert what Sahara, is the desert called Sahara, Sahara, Sahara. yeah the Saharan desert so we're in Puerto Rico and they're talking about the Saharan Desert coming from Africa and the dust storms and the dust winds that come from Africa and they're coming all the way over to Puerto Rico. And I was like, that is amazing. Mm -hmm. And I was like, that's crazy. That's so way. far away, but yeah. yet they're still it's feeling the effects from that. And so here I'm thinking <laughs> when, when we were getting the smoke and stuff from this week, it reminded me of that. And I was just like, it's all the way in Canada. And we're getting the effects of that here in the Maryland area. And I was just like, that is crazy. Mm -hmm. it, to the point to where not just the haze, but I could smell like smoke. the burning of the right. fire in the wood, the wood when right. I went outside. And so I was just like, now imagine what other things are taking place in the atmosphere Come on. that we don't even have because we can't see, see it. it. Uh huh. We don't understand what is taking place inside of our atmosphere. But all I could think about when everybody else, because it definitely ignited the, the sinuses. Yeah, yeah. I hadn't had sinus problems since COVID. <laughs> and so <laughs> it definitely ignited the sinuses. But instead of complaining, what I said was, God, I'm so grateful that I'm not closer. Uh. God, I'm grateful that I'm not in New York. God, I'm grateful that I'm not in Canada because we know people who live in Canada. I'm grateful that we aren't in Canada. And so as a result of this, bless you. As a result of that, 
it puts me in it postures me in a position of gratefulness yeah and gratitude and when you're in gratefulness and gratitude then you are positioning yourself and you're removing all the extra noise mm. from out of your head and out of your spirit Come because on. you're not looking to blame something or somebody because of what didn't take place inside of your life come on you're now in a position in your posture to say, God, I'm grateful. Although this situation happened, I am so grateful to God that you were able to protect. I am so grateful to God that you were able to cover. I am so grateful to God that you were able to reveal when you revealed it. Mm. And now it postures you in a position of gratitude and saying, man, I don't understand why this is this. And instead of mumbling and complaining and murmuring and complaining like the children of Israelites did. Mm. Come on. So it postures us in a different, different position. Yes, it does. God, I'm grateful mm. for what you did. Because I know my position and my posture is, God, you make all, all things, things good. good. Yeah, you do. And because you make all things good, what I'm going to do now is say, God, I'm grateful that this was this way. Yes. God, I'm grateful that this was this way. Yes. Because I know, God, that if it wasn't for you, that it wouldn't have worked out the way that it worked out, God. That if it wasn't for you, God, it could have been a whole totally different situation. Come on now. We could have been having a prison ministry behind the prison bars. Come on so, now. So, God, I am grateful. Yes. That you turned it around the way that you turned it around and that you exposed it, God, when you did. Yes. And so when you posture it for gratefulness, you posture it for gratitude. God, I am grateful that I am going and I'm seeing the doctors and I have the ability to select the doctor that I want to do the surgery. Mm -hmm. God, I'm grateful that I'm going through this process, God, and you're going to allow me and give me the wisdom to select the right doctor, God, to do what he's going to do because you're going to have your hand upon his life. Yep. You're going to have your hand upon his hands and every individual and staff that's going to be inside of that room, God, you're going to show me and expose, God, exactly who I need to go with because, God, I understand that the assignment that I have here on this earth well, is not done. Come on. And when you move with that assurance, yes. not with arrogance, but sure. with the confidence and the boastfulness that God, I know that 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 you didn't bring me right here to leave me here. Come on. Come on. Come on. Because we are the call. The call. And so be encouraged on this week. Yes. And know that whatever, mm -hmm. however it shows up. If your children are smoking marijuana, God, I am grateful to God that it's not cocaine. Mm. I'm grateful to God that you are going to, to do what you're, what's necessary, God. That 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 one day they're going to be smoking a joint so good uh -huh. that, God, they're not going to they, they're not gonna be able to miss your presence uh, in the midst of all the smoke. Come on. Because you are God. Come on. And you're going to meet them at that very moment. Yes. Yeah. Whatever this situation is, whatever that desire is. Yes. God permits <clears throat> it for your good. Uh-huh. So if you are here on today and you're trying to figure out, God, what is this thing? What it what it I don't understand what you're saying and he meant it for my good because my situation right now don't look like it's good. It don't look like anything that you're talking about right now. If that's you and you're watching, if that's you and you're here and you're present, I just want you to know that I want to pray with you on today because mm. God meant it for good. Although you 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 going through the process. you are going through the process and you might not look like it's for the good. Come on. I'm here to let you know that because you came across the feed, ah. because you came across the live, because you came across this 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 message on today that you know that he heard you. Mm. Although you didn't know how to speak it, he heard you enough to, to just let you listen to just an inkling. Mm. And because he heard you, I want you to know that that's enough hope Come on. for you to know that he's going to bring you out. Yes. And so I just want to pray with you on today, God. We thank you. We thank love you. Lord God. For each and every individual, God, that is under the sound of my voice, God, that you be glorified, be glorified in right Lord. now, God, in the name of Jesus. Yes. Lord, where they might be feeling like they are in the pit right now, God, and they don't see their way out, God, where life is just not serving them well, God, and they're going through a process where they don't know what to do. They don't know where to go, God. They don't, they, they, they just are lost. Mm. I'm asking that you meet them right where they you are, God. God. Now in the name of Jesus, name and that you would, you would speak mm. to their hearts. Yes, Father. I'm asking God that you would 
whisper the sweet nothings to them, God, and that you would reveal exactly what you want to reveal to them in this moment, that you are never going to leave them, God, and that you have never forsaken them, Lord, thinking back and looking back over all of their life and their life experiences, God, showing them flashes like a movie flash, showing them flashes, God, of how you've always kept them, God, how you've always been with them, God, how you've always covered them, God. So even in this very moment, mm. It is not impossible for you to continue the journey of keeping them and pulling them out and making it turn around for their good. Yes. Give them the strength and the courage to stand, God. Yes, Father. Give them the strength and the courage, God, to believe you, Lord, when it looks like there is no way out. Mm. To believe you like there is... There is no no other no other opportunity that could turn around for their good, but God to believe you like nothing else before. Yeah. When all odds are stacked against them, God, remind them that you are God and there is nothing impossible for you. Yes, Lord. Remind them, God, that you have made everything for their good. <clears throat> Surround them, God, by the right people, God, who will encourage them and to strengthen them and let them know and to remind them of all the things, God, that you have already done in their life. Sometimes we forget. Mm -hmm. And God, you continue to watch over them and cover them and keep them, God. Remove all the fear. Yes. Remove all the doubt. Somebody right now is so afraid of where they are right now because they don't know what the situation is going to look like on the other side. Hmm. They don't realize that God, if I don't get out of this situation, God, I don't know what's going to take place in my life. And I want you to know that it's not your fault. Hmm. God has got you exactly where he wants you. And all he wants you to do is just release the reins and trust him. Yes. I know it might seem hard to be able to trust him right where you are, but just say, God, I, I, I really want you to take control. So God, show me, God, how to show take me. my hands off of it, God. <laughs> show me, God, how to trust you in the midst of everything that I'm doing right now in this moment of my life so that I don't mess it up. And God, you be glorified. Be glorified, oh God. We give you all the glory. We give you all the praise. We give you all the honor, God. And Lord, that you will continue to encourage your sons and your daughters on this week. Yes. And remind them, God, that you have made all things for our good. Yes. Remind us, God, that we are the called. Remind us, God. And God, for those who are not saved, who don't know who you are, who, who are trying to figure this thing out with life and and, and they want to know who you are. They have a burning <laughs> desire to, to experience being the called. Mm. We're asking God that you would just be with them now and strengthen them and give them the courage. God, to stand. Mm. If that is you on today, I just want you to, to say that, that I believe. All you have to do is believe that, that, that Jesus is the, the son of God. Jesus Christ is the son of God. Mm. All you got to do is believe that in your heart. Believe that he came, he died for you, he rose for you. You have eternal life in him. Mm. All you got to do is believe that in your heart. Confess it with your mouth that he is Lord and you're saved. And then get in a good Bible-based teaching church so that you can grow and you can be fostered and you can grow in, 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 in all the things of the kingdom and all that God has for you. Mm. And so if that is you want today, and you said that prayer. And you said, I believe. We celebrate. Hallelujah. <clears throat> we celebrate you on today. Hallelujah. And we welcome you into the body of Christ. Praise the Lord. And um, pray that God will continue to watch over you and keep you. Mm -hmm. That he will cover and protect you. Yes. Because the enemy is, is lurking. And we'll be there watching. And, and this isn't so, you, so that you know that this, is, this doesn't mean that you're going to have all sunny days. Mm -hmm. That Come things on. are going to be amazing once you become saved and you, you become a child of the king. It just means that now you have protection. Mm. Now you have covering. Now you have somebody to step in and to, to be um, your intercessory. Mm. Now you have the access to the keys of the kingdom uh -huh. that you'll be able to start utilizing once you understand them. And so that God will keep you and watch you and cover you in Jesus' name. Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I truly thank God for my boo. Y'all got that fresh. Y'all know she ain't have a laptop, right? Y'all know she ain't have no jam. That's fresh right there. Woo! Fresh matter. 
Hallelujah. I truly thank God. I was just sitting there and I was just like, Lord, I thank you. He reminded me um, also what took place this week when uh, um, y'all know as far as with marriage takeover, when you're walking in your purpose and what God has given you, I tell you, it was just so awesome. It's like, yes, yes, we had to go through our, uh, we had to go to the brink of divorce to understand the more, if you will, and the, to see that God turned that thing around because on this week, uh, we got, um, uh, we got noticed that someone else or another couple that's in the, uh, uh, that follow us and, you know, that, that's in the group or what have you, they, um, they remove, I forgot the, the terms for it, but they had filed for divorce, but now they've thrown, they've, um, removed the divorce, uh, whatever it's called. And so I just, <laughs> I just thank God because when they when they was looking for divorce, but yet God, a shibble, woo, I'm telling you, I just thank God because when you're walking in your purpose, it's like, oh, that's why I had to go through that. So I could be able to understand this, so I can turn around and help them out because Joseph went through so that he can help a whole nation. <laughs> God told me to know. So we just thank God this morning. If you'd like to be a blessing to Raymond Worship Center, the... Uh, Go to the app. If you haven't downloaded your app, go and grab the app. Or you can um, text right there on the on the screen. Amen. What is it? What's the number of text? Eight, whatever. What is it? Oh, no. Y'all in here got the app, so you did. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Amen. We thank God. Um, honey, anything else we can get out of here? You good? All right. All right. Don't forget um, April 12th, right? Not April 12th. August 12th, right? Oh, you don't know? All right, don't forget, in August, um, the women's, uh, women's, the women's... I won't know until the end of the month. I'm waiting on surgery day. Oh, okay. All right, that's right. So that might, TBA for the women's event. Um, uh, TBD? Yeah, TBD. Sorry about that. And also, October, the third weekend, I think it's the 21st, is the uh, leadership retreat. Um, at the Holiday Inn, hallelujah, we working, we working, we getting ready to move, because man, I'm telling you, next year going to be awesome, y'all going to be, be crazy when you hear that one, um, but other than that, I think that's about it, okay, praise the Lord, let's get out of here, Father Heaven, Lord God, we thank you now, God, we give you glory, we give you honor, we give you praise, we thank you for your grace, we thank you for your love, we thank you for your unmerited favor, God, we thank you for your word, oh God, we thank you, Lord God, on what you have done on this day, oh God. So, Father, I pray now in the name of Jesus, oh God, that we just, God, that we not just hear your, that we don't be hearers of the word, but that we are doers of your word, oh God. In the name of Jesus, God, that you may manifest your glory right here in the earth, oh God. In the name of Jesus. And so, Father, we thank you right now, God. Keep us as we depart from this place, but never from your presence, Father. Keep us, oh God, Father, where I, where the front, where the front parking space is in our favor. And so, Father, we thank you now, God. We give you the glory. Father, we say this prayer in your daughter's son, Jesus' name, amen, amen, and amen. Y'all have a blessing. We'll see you on Tuesday night Bible study.